Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I am going to show you guys a video that I was really hyped about to make, and that has been in the long running for a while now, because I just haven't had the motivation to do it, but uh, I made two videos on it on my uh, TikTok. There's my TikTok right there if you want to go subscribe, and it has absolutely gone crazy. Um, so I had to put my phone in making a YouTube video because I had too many notifications and I wasn't getting to the video enough. Um, so here I have an iPhone success. This is my old, old iPhone success. Um, I switched it out for my sister. And here is a iPhone 8 Plus. And as you can see, they are both iPhone locked to owner. And we are actually going to bypass this today. You're just like, oh, you're lying, or you're lying. Well, I wasn't lying about the MDM video, was I? So why would I lie about this? So the downside is, is since this is an iPhone 8, it's running iOS 17, or not 17, 16.7.7. .7, and this is an iPhone 6S, running iOS 15.8.2, I'm pretty sure. And this is paid, this is free. Um, because if you're running iOS 16.5, then it would be free. But since this is running iOS 16.7.7, .7, this is paid. And the paid pros outweigh the free cons. So let me go over the cons and then we'll do the free first because I'm pretty sure that's what you guys mainly want to do here. And then we'll do the paid. So for the paid, the pros are it bypasses this, the iCloud lock, the most annoying thing in the world. Start with this camera setup, it's uh, my phone stand. It's actually this right here, and I'm on my bed because I don't have a desk right now. It's downstairs, and my sister's playing on the desktop, so I have this holding my camera. Um, Alright, so the pros of this is it just bypasses the iPhone lock to owner. Like I said, the most annoying thing in the entire world. The cons is if the device turns off, it will completely remove the bypass and you'll have to do it again. Uh, you can't connect to Wi-Fi, you can't sign into an Apple ID, you can't download those apps. It's at this point not worth unlocking it, but it is at the same time. So those are the pros and cons of the free version. And then the paid is, obviously the pros is it gets remove it'll get remove this annoying thing you can turn on and off the phone you can let it die and charge it and it'll still turn back on you can uh sign into an apple id and download apps and but you can't use sim cards on both of them because it's talking it some it like removes the ability to talk to the server somehow because that's how it gets this no matter what you do it talks to the servers and it comes back with saying, hey, this is locked. You Like, don't let it do anything. Um, but this is my dad's old phone. He forgot the password. And it's $20 per phone. So with this, this these are the cons. Is It's paid, but it's $20. But say you pay the $20 and you unlock it. But you factory reset it and now it's locked again. Because that's the only way you can bring up the lock again. And... You're like, oh, I'll have to pay for it again. Nope. It's in their system, so you can just keep continuously unlocking this phone. You will have to pay $20 for other phones. Um, and here, I will pull up a list. I gotta go to my notes. Of their limited devices supported by this. Um, also, iPads work for this. And you can do this on uh, Mac OS and Windows 10 or... 8, 10, 11, and this is unlimited devices, except for it can't, uh, you can have an iPhone 11 that's running iOS 16.5 and it will work, um, but anything other than iOS 16.5, iOS 16.6, iOS 7, or iOS 7.7 .7 won't work, um, so it's very tricky, but it is free, and you can't beat free, especially on this, so here, let me pull up the supported devices list. So 
these are the supported devices, the iPhone, hello? The iPhone 5S, 6, 6S, 6S Plus, 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, and the iPhone X. Because those can't go past iOS um, 16. So, first we'll get started with the free. Alright, so first thing you're going to do is download, this is, if you already have jailbroken phone or you know how to do it, just jailbreak it. Um, I don't really want to put that on this video, I don't want to make it super long. So I have another video on how to jailbreak it, um, but we'll go buy that. So say you already jailbroken it, um, here, let me actually jailbreak this, so let's run the time lapse. So as you can see, it is fully done with creating the fake FS. So now all we have to do is run it without the fake FS. Can this just stay? And then we can run the software and it will be fully bypassed. Sorry, I had to cut that out. I was texting him. Okay, so it got ran, so we'll just do reboot. That's just going to boot my laptop because it needs to go back into the original software. So as you can see, we'll go English, United States, set up. Um, I'll have to wait for my laptop to turn on because I use its hotspot um, for right now. So... Keep in mind, you'll see no next button. Just keep that in mind. No next button, nothing you can do. Um, here, let me turn on my hotspot. Or, I don't even really need to, but I'm going to. But, because you can still see it's locked. So, since you know next button here, and it's going to, don't mind that. Um, then we'll run the I skip activation tool. Uh, the I'll have to find the link for the download, but the link's gonna be in the description if I can find it. Um, now you'll see next, and it's gonna do that. So we're just going to Wi-Fi settings. That's forget this network. All right, so you can see. It tells you to create the fake FS, then boot it, which is when you install the actual jailbreak. And then it will be bypassed. So here, let me put the phone right here. So you guys can still see it. Oh my gosh. Sit right there, please. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. This phone is just not wanting to do what it's supposed to. Alright. So, as you can see, then we'll click I skip activation. And then, even though I clicked it, it's not doing anything, you have to give it a minute. If you see a prompt that pops up, that means it's not going to work. Um, as you can see, iOS 15 to 16.5, and you'll see device has been activated thanks to 
Mr. Creator PNW2 owned iOS Sephora, and you'll see that the iPhone is rebooting. And then, boom, you'll see no more lock. I mean, you will. But let's just go down to United States. Set up manually. You'll see the next one. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. We'll click next. Click continue. Continue. Set up later. We don't want to use any of that for right now. Don't use. Don't use. I don't know. Don't. Accept. Agree. Yes. No. 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 All right, you see it never asked you for your Apple ID. Is that's because you cannot sign into it. We see nothing's there. And uh, actually, I'm pretty sure if I go on my phone, go to settings, click on my Apple ID, you can still see iPhone success, 32 gigabytes in the black, just like this one. Find my iPhone is on, iCloud backup is on. So you can see it's still on the uh, Apple ID, but obviously on this phone it's not. But if it dies or if it turns off, it will reset and you'll have to restore root FS, create fake FS, then run the jailbreak without the fake FS, and do this. So that's how you do it on the free version. Now let's get to the paid version. Alright, so we will exit out of all of this. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to get it to it. Alright. So you can see the device is locked and this one is paid, sadly. So we will set the phone right there. And then what you're going to do is search up or link description, check M8, hit enter. You'll see activation lock bypass for iPhone, iPad, Mac. And then you can see here, for iPhones, it's compatible for the iPhone 5S, 6, 6S, 6S Plus, the 7, the 7 Plus, the 8, the A Plus, and the iPhone X. For iPad, it's available to the iPad 5, 6, and 7, iPad Pro 2016 to 2018, iPad Mini 2, 3, and 4, iPad Air 1, point, or 1 and 2, uh, and it's up to iOS 17.1.2. And for... The software is compatible with Mac OS and Windows. So just click that. You'll see that and you'll click download. Then it'll pop up right here. Then unzip it and then run it. And you'll see um, that you will have to pay for it. It'll take you to the their website. And you will click uh, register. Um or buy and then it'll make you register an account and it will send an email to your account for a one-time passcode after you pay the $20 and then you'll see this you just click start and says please please wait we are preparing your device so and then your device needs to put in DFU mode to apply the jailbreak this is a manual process and we'll guide you through it in in for in order to prevent file system corruption through hard reset, the device will be put into recovery mode first. Click next when you're ready. You'll see entering recovery mode. And this one, I don't think I have to make any time lapses because it's super fast, or not super fast, but easy. You'll see device is now in recovery mode and do that. You'll see it, so start. And then you have to press and hide this uh, volume, the side button and the volume down button together for 4 seconds. And then release the power button but keep holding the volume button for 10 seconds. Technically it only has to do for 10, it will enter before that. But you will see setting up the exploit, this is the heat spray. A little joke in there. Right before trigger, this is the real bug set. This is installing the jailbreak, not... Uh, 
bypassing the icon lock yet. Just yet. No, C doesn't do any checkmate stuff because it's not using it. If you see unloading bootstrap, it might, it might take up to 60 seconds. You'll see that that is back on. We're just going to leave it there. Here, let me try to move it so it's not in the way of my light because that's a little annoying. Alright, that's the best we're going to get it. Alright, jailbreak done. Now, clo now click on close the button to hide this window and click wow then click on start button to begin the bypass process bypass process holy i cannot talk all right then we'll click start and you'll see please wait we're preparing your device and then soon enough you'll see Bypass and progress and do not or don't disconnect your device So just give it a minute this is uh, faster than actually Jailbreaking the device in this process Your device has been successfully bypassed warning you need to remove some card for correct users of your device Thank you for bringing your valid customer. You are so important to us Please share your feedback with us so we can help deliver the best unlocking services on the market then you can see the device will turn on. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it. And boom, you will see it is um, bypassed and you can sign into your iCloud. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Alright, and then we will grab my other phone, click allow, alright, you'll see it's signing into iCloud, and here let me show you on the free version, if I turn off the device. Alright, so it's off. And then we will turn it back on. If it wants to. Yep, there it goes. So then here we'll go ahead and turn on this turn off this one at the same not the same time, but this one off too. You'll see software update complete just like with the MDM lock. Click continue and you'll have to connect to a network, which we'll wait for them to load here. Truck house, or well, it's just my house. Alright, so I'm connecting to it, and you'll see on this one the it boots back up. It's into my iCloud. And you can download apps and stuff on this one. And then with this one, you'll see iPhone lock to owner. So I'll just unlock with passcode for right now, which is just all threes. Because this isn't my main phone. What? Incorrect passcode. Well, either way, that's my phone. But yeah, that's how you guys do it. Uh, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.